Greetings and salutations, my precious flower buds. I'm Vanilla, and I'm excited to finally be sharing with you my new talking sprites. I wanted to start off this video by saying genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much for 500 subscribers. I never thought I'd make it far on YouTube, but I'm so thankful to have what fans I have after six years of work. I appreciate you all so, so much. You're all so sweet and kind, and I'm so thankful to have met each and every one of you. To celebrate, I thought I'd try out a new format, as well as a little bit of a challenge. The user Crystal Colors here on YouTube, years ago, made up the Warrior Cats book scene challenge, in which you flip to a random book scene in any Warrior Cats book, and you're tasked to draw the scene. Since I'm usually late to the party on everything else, I thought, why not? This should be fun. Please, however, keep in mind that since I'll be sharing speed paints, there may be flashing colors due to the sped up process. I also managed to pull scenes that depicted death and blood. If you're not in the headspace for that sort of thing right now, there's no shame in clicking off. I'd be happy to see you in my next videos. Without further ado, let's see what we're working with. I decided to pick three of my favorites from each category of Warrior Cats books. One novella, one super edition, and a main series book. I decided to start off with Shadows of the Clans, where I happened to pull from one of my favorite stories, Maple Shade's Vengeance. I managed to pick the scene where Ravenwing confronts Maple Shade, following her little trip to the river with them, with his omens sent to him by StarClan. So, for this drawing, I kind of had a cool idea going at first, but I don't really think I managed it too well in execution. I'm not really a big fan of where I placed Maple Shade or what I ended up doing with her expression with the kits at the bottom. Though I do kind of like how the omen came out, eh. I do like the colors on this though, and I think the designs that I came up with for them on the spot are kind of unique. I wanted to use a lot of blues and reds in this background to kind of give a sort of dangerous feel, but also make it feel cold and eerie. Kind of like it's just ominous around them. Kind of like the omen that he's telling her about. The scene, in reference to Maple Shade and her kids, reads as follows. Did he? mewed Ravenwing. What else did he say? He took a step closer. Maple Shade curled her tail around the kids. Come on, little ones, it's time to go home. Ravenwing didn't move out of the way. I've seen an omen, Maple Shade, he murmured. I wonder if you know anything about it. There was something in his voice that made Maple Shade's fur prick. What would I know anything about an omen? I'm not a medicine cat. Ravenwing stared at her without blinking. A tiny stream appeared in my den, in a place where no stream has run before. It carried with it three pieces of water reed. He swept his paw over the ground, as if he were tracing the path of the rivulet. Water reed doesn't grow in ThunderClan territory, he went on. It doesn't belong inside our boundaries. Do you understand? Mapleshade shrugged. There's been so much rain this leaf fall. Bits and pieces must have washed all over the place. She tried to keep her voice light, but there was a cold, heavy feeling in her belly, as if she had swallowed a stone from the river. Ravenwing watched the kids play with an acorn, shuffling it from one to the other with their paws. I think this omen means that the river has washed three strange cats into ThunderClan. Three cats who don't belong there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I really hate how the cheese came out in this. <laughs> I ended up realizing that I completely did them wrong and uh it's too late to fix them. Oh goodness. This absolutely was not one of my favorite ones to draw to say the least. <laughs> I kinda just wanted to get it over with as soon as possible, so uh, here it is. <laughs> I hope you guys like it for what it is. Uh I had fun with it. I think it turned out okay. I, I like the background a lot more than I like anything else going on. Uh, and I think I could do a lot better, so let's just move on. And now, thankfully, we're on to my favorite super edition! Yay! I decided to pick Blue Star's Propsy because I'm super nostalgic for it, and it was my favorite book growing up. And I was dying to draw the characters, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited when I got Sweet Paw's Burial that it was kind of cringe and upsetting. <laughs> but you know what? I had so much fun with it 
even for such a morbid scene, you know? <laughs> I ended up, like, deciding to do this, like, really fleshed out spring, pretty background, super invigorated with all this life and color everywhere, and having all of the cats that I wanted to draw. Blue fur, snow fur, rose tail, poppy dawn, um, sweet paw, obviously she's dead, uh, <laughs> thistle claw, uh, feather whisker, goose feather, pine star. I wanted to draw every single one of them. I stuck all the cats in that I could, and I just had so much fun with it. I ended up spending like six hours on just the cats alone. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> this took me so long to do and I don't even like how it came out. So two for two on failing with these. Good job, me. So for these, I'm not sure if you could tell, but I was making up designs right on the fly for them. So these are just kind of based off of how I imagine they look slash mixed in canonical truthness to the <laughs> designs. Yeah, that sort of thing. I also wanted to do, with these drawings, um, the illustrations, I wanted to do different seasons for them. So for uh, Maple Shades, I forgot to mention, is fall or autumn. This one is spring, the next one is going to be winter, and then the final one is summer. Uh, specifically I chose spring for Sweet Paws Vigil because I really wanted to focus on how life sort of moves on. even past death and how it just s sort of consumes like these precious little souls that are being lost in warrior cats constantly like life is moving on without them like there's all these things going on butterflies flying around bees all this gorgeous gorgeous things and there's still this horrible horrible stuff going on in the heart of the clan and i just i, I don't know i've always loved that about warrior cats it's just pretty at first all sunshines and rainbows because it's like kitty cats but uh under the surface it's quite a bit more than that and i think that blue stars prophecy really really emphasizes this and it's i i love this book i love this book so much i could go on for hours dude it's it's oh god it's unhealthy anyway uh not gonna read out the scene for this one since there's not much to it but i hope you like the drawing anyway um, like i said i'm not super happy with how it came out this time I'm actually not happy with the background, surprisingly enough. I'm more happy with how the cats turned out, which I guess makes sense since I spent most of my time working on them, but uh, yeah, that's a uh, <laughs> two for two on Phelan, so yikes. Now for the main series book, Shattered Sky. All right, I went all out. I didn't end up pulling a scene that was anything special, all right? I ended up getting like a transition scene between the pages and that's an issue with warrior cats they kind of like <laughs> this challenge is hard because you can end up pulling the most random filler scene ever and that's exactly what happened here but I decided to make the most of it by giving it my favorite season so I could draw Violet Paw in the Snow um, and I was very very happy to actually land on a Violet Paw chapter because she's my favorite character I, oh my god, <laughs> oh, Shattered Sky, <laughs> I could go on for hours about Shattered Sky, my favorite Warriors book ever released, top tier, even better than anything, I don't even care, main series is, or er, the first series, nothing compared to Shattered Sky, I love this book so much, it's so, so good, oh my god. So anyway, I had to draw every single one of the kin cats that I possibly could. So it fit like as many cats as I could physically fit into the background without dying as I could. This drawing took me like 20 hours. I really hope you like it. Basically, this takes place directly after the River Clan battle, and Violet Paw is in the middle of hunting, as directed by Darktail. And she was moving from she was moving from Shadow Clan to River Clan camp, and then she went to Thunder Clan. So I decided to draw her, like bringing the prey into the River Clan camp. She's looking over her shoulder. She's very uncomfortable, weary. She's like looking around, and I wanted it to look like the kin would 
really like absorbing the territory. They really had control of it. They were everywhere. They were taking up every little inch of the screen. They there were bones scattered everywhere. There's blood all over the snowy battlefields. There's bodies buried in the background where uh, Zelda and Loki, the kitty pets that Darktail had picked up, are discovering their friend's corpse. It's just oh, mm mm mm, chef's kiss. I actually really like how this came out. Like the background, I was having a lot of issues with, and. I'm not like super super impressed with what I ended up doing with it, but it's not the worst. I'm not super upset with it, and I think the cats look okay, so <laughs> in my book, this one was a win. And that's good enough for me, because as long as Violet Pollock's good, I don't care. <laughs> she is one of my favorite characters ever. I love her, I love her story, I love this book! Ugh! I'm so happy that I got to draw Needletail and Violet Pot and Darktail and just all my kitties, all my favorite characters. Love them. And then, surprise, I decided to also do a redraw of two pages from the Tiger Star and Sasha mangas. The infamous Tiger Star and Sasha mangas. Oh dear. So, I'm not really one to dog another person's art style, especially since this person probably wasn't really used to drawing cats all that much, uh, probably didn't have that much time, but this is not a good manga. This is not a good comic. This is, this is just not good art for warrior cats. I, it's, it's not up to the quality that we've come to expect through releases like Rise of Scourge and just the main series art in general, it's just, it's, it's just, it screams that he had a really, really short deadline, so, um, I decided to give it a shot and see what I could do with a few of the pages, and I ended up pulling a pretty good one, I'd say. Sorry about my cap. <laughs> um, I ended up pulling the page where the kits, um, Tadpole, Hawk, and Moth, they go into this basement and they're hiding from the rain and then the pipe bursts on them and then suddenly they're drowning. And then Sasha comes and finds them. I was super excited about drawing this one specifically, mainly so I could fix- well not fix, like that, that's not really a good word to use here, but like do my own version, my own interpretation of the scene. Like, I really wanted to change her expression to make her look a lot more panicked and a lot more, like, terrified in that last shot because her kids are drowning in front of her face. She's watching them die. Like, I, I don't understand why she just looks like she's meowing at them. I don't know. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't really do all that great with it either, to be honest. Like, I had fun playing with my comic brushes and stuff like that, but, like, I'm not super, super, I'm not like a, a professional artist or anything, I'm entirely self-taught. I'm not super great or anything, so I probably don't even compare, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not even super happy with this, but I, I like a few of the expressions on it. I think uh, the markings came out fun, and I did enjoy using all the comic brushes, of course, so there's that. And of course, all of these were pretty much for practice anyway, so this was a lot of fun to try out. I've never done a black and white style before, so hopefully I executed it kind of well. I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to tell me. So that's that. <laughs> Thank you guys so 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 much for watching until the very end and if you would please 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 consider sharing comments liking subscribing literally anything anything helps I really 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 appreciate your support and I am so so thankful yet again for 500 subscribers you guys mean everything to me I am so 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 passionate about warrior cats and I am so thankful to get the chance to share my work with you and I'm so glad that you guys enjoy it and I hope that I can continue doing it for years and years to come. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and if you're interested in more content from me, maybe consider checking out my other platforms! Uh, yeah! And that's it! Bye!